So we measure carbon using the ammeter, as we mentioned before. An ammeter has two terminals, the positive terminal and the negative terminal. Over here, this is the ammeter. You can see that there's a range here that tells you how much current is going through. Over here is the positive terminal. You can see in front of this connector, there is a small plus sign. And in front of this terminal, there is a small negative sign. And this would be the negative terminal. Here's a proper way on how to connect the ammeter. The positive terminal of the ammeter has to be connected with reference to the positive terminal of the power source, which means this part over here the positive terminal of the emitter has to be linked to the big line of the battery or the positive terminal of the battery. Positive to positive. The negative terminal of the emitter over here has to be connected with reference to the negative terminal of the battery. So it must be connected from negative to negative. And the emitter must be connected in series with the circuit. This means the emitter, if he wants to measure the current through this wire, it must be connected in series with this part of the wire. The emitter will have negligible resistance. So, the conventional current represented by the cross would flow from the plus side upwards through the light bulb, through the emitter, and back to the... Now we know that electron currents actually flow from the negative side to the positive side. So, the electron current will actually flow like this. Notice that they go through the emitter. So now let's talk a bit about the effect of electric currents on the body. All of you have heard of electrocution, but what current would actually electrocute a person? 0.001 amperes can be felt. 0.05 amperes can be painful. 0.01 amperes can cause involuntary muscle spasms. 0.015 amperes is already able to cause loss of muscle control and just 0.07 amperes if it's through the heart can cause serious disruption and might be fatal.